Bible talks about hardened hearts, hearts that are hard. You may take it for granted, but it's very serious. The hearts that are hard is 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 a very serious thing. And um, I used to wonder how people can possibly go to hell after hearing the gospel of Jesus Christ. But when the Bible said the heart of man is wicked, desperately wicked, above all things, and he said, who can tell? It means when you are dealing with the heart of a human being, you are dealing with something that is more than concrete. You are dealing with something that is more than a piece of metal. In fact, it's, it's easier to handle ceramic tiles and to get water to penetrate them than to get even the word of God to penetrate a human heart. That is how hard our hearts are. After Jesus had risen from the dead, there were two of his disciples who were walking. They were on the road to Emmaus. And um, those people are very interesting. people um luke chapter 24 from verse 13 and behold two of them went that same day to a village called Emmaus, which was from jerusalem about three score fellows and they talked together of all the things which had happened they talked together of all the things which had happened Keep going for me. And it came to pass that while they communed together and reasoned, Jesus himself drew near and went with them. So these are two men that are walking and um, they are talking about the things that had happened to Jesus, how Jesus died and they, they heard stories that he had risen from the dead and so on and so forth. And as they were talking, the Bible said Jesus Christ joined them as they were talking all this they are nonsense then the Bible said but their eyes were holding that they should not know him stay here their eyes were withheld from seeing him now I want to ask who withheld their eyes from seeing him definitely not the devil it wasn't the devil it was God himself who stopped them from seeing him. I'm starting from here so that you, you will understand. Sometimes if you don't know you are sick, you may rather think you are wise. You see all these preaching people preach. And sometimes after the preaching, some people only insult and others too, it doesn't affect them. Others don't see anything. It is not because they are wise or they are smart or whatever. Sometimes God himself throws delusion, darkness on people so that they will not see. That is the one Paul who say, then why does he find fault? You remember in the case of Pharaoh, the Bible said that God hardened the heart of Pharaoh so that his will would be done. Now, because I'm thinking that some of the things that are happening today, the first thing people would like to do is to go to church. The first thing they would like to do is to pray. Yesterday I was talking to you about the preacher who preached sinners in the hands of the, of the living, sinners in the hands of an angry God. It was rather Jonathan Edwards. I made a mistake. It wasn't Charles Finney. It was Jonathan Edwards that preached that message. And that day when he preached, the people were so convicted, they started climbing pillars. Because he talked about the bottomless pit that was open and fire. And people were going into it. And people began to cry and wail. This morning I was thinking, I said, you know what? The fire for repentance is really not touching people's hearts in our churches. 
Now you preach a fiery message. Instead of people repenting, they rather get offended. No, you can't, you can't preach a message. You can't preach a proper message today and your church will not be empty. No, you tell them the truth, they get angry. You tell them the truth, they get offended. And they don't even know that it's God himself who has put them in that state. And that is because, you know, I can tell you, if it is not everybody who lives in Manhattan, and it's not everybody who lives in Kensington, <laughs> in England, I can tell you, heaven, and it's not everybody who lives in Trasaco Valley in Accra, I can tell you that heaven is not a place for just anybody to go. No, 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 no. The people who are going to go to heaven are the distinguished citizens of the kingdom of God that are on earth. Heaven is not a place you just stroll into and just get up and say you are gone. No, it's for people that will press to get into the kingdom. So you see, you should be getting worried anytime a message is preached or anytime you hear the word of the kingdom coming and, and it doesn't do you anything. Because Jesus Christ made it clear to us that some of the seed will fall by the wayside and some of it will fall among thorns and some of it will fall on rocks. And he said, and then another portion will fall on good soil. And I believe that that gives you just about 25%. So I did my own calculation and I said, anytime I preach, I expect only 25% of the people to hear what I'm saying. So the Bible said, and he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Now, so their eyes were withholding. I want somebody to lift up your hands and I need you to pray for just 30 seconds and say, Father, let me not be one of the people whose eyes will be withheld from seeing the truth in the last days. Because I'm telling you people, some people's eyes will be withheld. Some people's ears will be held, withheld. And some people's hearts will be withheld. So pray to God and ask him in the name of Jesus. Mikashoni Akabosai.